Hello, hello, CryptoG here, just coming at you with some bullet games of chess on lichess.org with the CryptoG account. Um, I just wanted to talk about mouse speed today and how I think that's really costing me in the bullet games. Now, obviously, it's going to take a lot more than that to, you know... Um, get my ratings up is just being fast but you know with these bullet games I do like to use them to sharpen myself up and I just need to get a little faster and I think as well as learning you know sort of standard openings techniques blah de blah de blah um, I need to just get faster with the mouse um, in this game I just play awfully actually I, I just I'm, I'm just playing really badly so you know I am being slow with the mouse as well but I, you know, that's not really the main reason why I lose this. I just lose this because I don't know. I just allow him to get this white square dominant. So I always seem to be doing the wrong one, and yeah, just you know, nothing, nothing worked, and I'm just getting less and less time here. And um, yeah, um, but even still, you know, I get myself into a position where I think, okay, you know. I might be able to to do something here, just work around the dark squares. A few light squares opened up. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't do it, as you can see. Um, and then just, you know, I, I don't know, my tactics are wrong. And, you know, he's got so much more time than me at, at the end, even though I do play badly. But, you know, by the end, he's got a lot and but and even then you know I might have even if I played a bit better been able to maneuver a mate with the rook over and coming up because I had my pawn covering any escape route um yeah and he wins by a few seconds but here's where it really really gets interesting actually because um sorry my headphones are on funny there um, here's where it really gets interesting because I this game uh, it's it's painful to watch because I'm like right okay I'm going to be faster and I, I was just concentrating a lot on speed here um, but you know even still I was just I don't know I was being slow I was being slow you know there was a few pre moves but as you'll see here um, I'm just very indecisive you know I should know beforehand that you know I wouldn't have been able to push push that pawn it's you know I play this opening quite a lot and you know certain moves will suddenly I don't know get me thinking like this but even still here we're both on 30 37 seconds there, or, you know, I'm on 32, he's on 33, you know, so it's pretty even at this stage, and I should have capitalised, I should have taken the pawn there on, um, on e5, um, with my knight, and I didn't, um, or, you know, taken that pawn that he's just covered there I go for the exchange thinking that I've got him on a on a skewer with with his queen and king um, and yeah I just didn't play just didn't play very well but you know these are these are one minute games and, and sometimes like there I should have moved my bishop over I would have had his rook these are one minute games and you know I've just seen it now and I try and scramble and get my queen over there but it's it's just too late because you know he's gonna uh, he's gonna win on time so now we go to the next one and this is where uh, yeah I'm like okay this is a 7-7-7 seven, seven, seven playing Delio Como um, sounds like a Nigerian name, Dele Como. Um, and
and yeah you know I'm just thinking 777 I'm you know I'm not the best bullet player I'm only better than about 3% I think like chess says of, of bullet players on, on Lee Chess um, and that'll include accounts that have you know just abandon their accounts and what have you but 777 I should be beating this I should be beating this rating of player um, and you know suddenly I look at the time and he's on 42 seconds I'm on 25 and yeah, I mean, maybe it's a, a fact of not being able to finish him off, but I'm I'm still confident at this point. You know, I've mated, mated low rated players from this kind of position before, um, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because I'm playing at night. Maybe, you know, I don't know. Um, but it's slow mouse play and I just see other players. They seem to be a lot zippier you know, especially when it comes down to the last 10 seconds, you know, and, I, and I'm not talking like these amazing tournaments that I've seen, you know, with Carson and the Penguin and, you know, and what have you, um, they're inhumanly fast, but, you know, I'm talking people are of sort of similar ratings to me, um, and I'm thinking, okay, I'll, I'll beat him on time, but then suddenly... He's just got way more time than me at the end. Oh. Time. Yeah, well, that meme says it all really. Obviously, uh, I was pretty infuriated at that. Anyway, so next we had the SoundCloud rapper who actually uh, quit on me. I clicked in again and I got sad boy one seven three seven rated so I was like okay come on this guy you know he's even worse than the last guy um, although to be fair he didn't really play like a seven 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 player or maybe he did and I, I was just terrible but I was determined on this and I was like yeah you know I knew I was gonna get his bishop there because that's the sort of thing seven three seven players do they miss extremely obvious moves and beating them should be no problem um, and I know a lot of my problem isn't just you know I'm, I'm not deluded here it's not just mouse mouse skills um, like for instance a player like this I should probably just be going for a classic mate early on because you know he'll probably he'll probably fall for it you know some some easy sort of queen's gambit and so yeah that's down to me getting better at understanding chess theory but even still you know even still i mean look here 32 seconds to his 20 31 seconds to his 20 i was there so 11 seconds up i've you know I, i'm more than 200 points better than him on, on the ratings and somehow he's you know I'm allowing him and I realize this is awful chess by the way before you get on the comments and go you should have moved another piece apart from your queen earlier it's like yeah I know um, but I was just concentrating on speed and I was like and look here it takes me ages to realize that his knights unguarded I mean that's just shocking play um, because he was such a low rated player I just thought I'm going to steam about with my queen I'll, I'll get it down to where he's hardly got any time and I've got lots and then I'll just beat him and why I didn't just mate him there I know because I wasn't high enough yes wasn't going to lose that on time well, there you go that's uh, my expletive lane uh, response to that one that would have really me off time. Yes, it would. So um, <laughs> that's just uh, I wasn't actually aware the mic was was running as I was playing these games. I was I was recording them. Uh, obviously, the recording the screen, but I, I, I thought I turned off the mic. Um, but I just thought <laughs> I'd let you 
I'd let you in on that just so that you can hear just how frustrated I am at this state of affairs. Um, this guy is 919 Abud 2012. Um, and I don't know, the way I'm playing, you never know. He might have been born in 2012. And uh, do you know what I mean? I'm making that much short work. At least there I was planning on coming out for a standard, just eat early mates, bishop, queen, check, uh, mate. But... Uh, but uh, I didn't, and he's got a question mark by his his rating, so 919s, that suggests that he's only just started playing bullet, so you know, you, you never know, he could be amazing, he could be terrible, um, do you know what I mean? And 919 suggests that he's probably okay, because I think that rating is kind of loosely based on, on your other stuff, or it just makes an assumption, I'm not sure. But here again, I start dawdling. I've got 30 seconds, 32 seconds. He's got 15. Um, you know, he's he's giving pieces away left, right and centre. And, you know, here I'm just like, okay, come on. Never mind speed. I've got him now. Let's go for the mate. Um, and, you know, maybe I'm not, you know, and he's pre-moving and I somehow strive to make a complete meal of this one. Uh, I do win, <laughs> obviously I do win, but I think 16 seconds I should have beaten him by probably 30 seconds, do you know what I mean? It shouldn't shouldn't have got so, so close. Um, even if it's that that's not really close in a one minute game. But yeah, so that was my sort of one minute uh, hell. I think I've got um, one more game for you here. And this one, yeah, this one I really wanted to win because obviously those last two, that guy was 919, but I did, you know, he lost, I think it was 42 points you saw there. I, you know, he's, he wasn't that good. Um, I wanted to get a one minute victory against a highly rated player in 1265. I I mean we'll have a look afterwards but I don't think I have beaten a player quite that high in bullet. So I'd watched a Ben Feingold thing. That was a mistake by the way. I meant to Castle Kingside and I just went Queenside. Um I watched a Ben Feingold video yesterday about um standard openings and about how, you know, good players beat you because they study these openings. They know that you know historically how these openings have played, um, and what have you. And you know, famous people who have played games in in similar situations. So even though I don't know those yet and I haven't studied them, uh, I should have quick uh, castle exchange there. But there again, you see, I just I think I'm not looking at the time properly because. You know, I suddenly see that, oh my God, I've got 12 seconds, he's got 37 and I'm winning, you know, and it's, it's bloody frustrating because, <laughs> you know, it's, pardon the French, but it's just so frustrating because, you know, ah, look there, I should have taken him and then I jumped back up and ugh, and it's just, you know, I'm just, uh So yeah, there's Mr. Guitar Smash Man um, getting very enraged on my behalf. Um, you know, I should be winning games like that, but um, you know, we'll that's you know we'll improve on that. And uh, in fact, there I said um, twelve sixty five was the highest I've beaten. In fact, if we see there, I think it's thirteen seventy seven. Yeah, just at the bottom of the screen. Anyway. Um, it's been good. I just wanted to show you these bullet games. The next video, I'm going to come at my, uh, show you my strengths, and we are going to be looking at some 5 3 games and uh, got some good victories there, and I've been improving my rating. Okay, bye bye.